Good day, family. Welcome into our channel. This is Prophetess Nikki, and it's so good to be here with you. Thank all of you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for sharing them. Keep liking that video for us, family. Go back and revisit those pre-recorded lives, those pre-recorded videos, because I know that God has a rhema word in those videos for you. Listen, the enemy's going to go real hard for you. He's going to really, really come after you to succumb to his craziness. But when the enemy goes hard, you got to go harder. I'm going to say that again. When the enemy goes hard, you have to go harder and you got to keep these doors closed. What doors am I talking about? You already know what they are. They are the doors of distractions. They are the doors of fear. They are the, 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 the doors of anxiousness. They are the doors of doubt. You got to close that door because if the enemy sees where he is successful in distracting you, family of God, he is going to destroy your family. He's going to destroy every single thing that he set out to do. You can't let the devil win. You got to fight. He's coming after you, but you got to fight harder. When he goes for you, you got to go harder. You got to shut every door. You can't give him place anywhere you have access that the enemy can sneak in. Shut that door. Seal these cracks. Tell you guys this all the time because God is getting ready to do something amazing for you and you have to be ready because prepare people get the blessing. Why don't you say that? Prepared people get the blessing. Why don't you put your name in the comment section and say, I am prepared. I am ready for what God has for me. I am so ready for the blessing that God has for me. I am ready for my anointed to increase so I can be a better blessing to the kingdom of God. This is why you're here to be a light and the enemy wants to come to diminish your light. Don't let the enemy try to diminish your light. Don't let him succeed in doing that family. You know, the enemy would do his best to destroy you. He would do his best. He don't care who he used. This is why I don't take things personal where, where people are concerned because it is not that people are your enemy. No, it is the enemy on the inside of that person. You got to know this. The enemy is the enemy on the inside of that person. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, remember? But we wrestle against principalities, wickedness, and darkness in high places. This is a spiritual battle. So we don't fight spiritual battles with physical hands. We fight spiritual, spiritual battles with spiritual prayer, with warfare in the realm of the spirit. You got to shut this door. You got to shut every door. Wherever you're overly anxious, close that door. Wherever you are having fear, Wherever you're doubting God, shut the door because that's the access that you are giving the enemy. There are so many security breaches in the lives of people. The enemy just crept right on in. The enemy is so cunning. He's so sly. He's so slick. So we got to be mindful of him. You always have an enemy. Satan is our enemy. He's our enemy. We have one. We know he's defeated. So if you know that the enemy is already defeated, don't let him defeat you in doubt with your faith. Having a hard time believing God. No, family, don't have a hard time believing God. God's going to keep his word to you. He's going to keep it. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like it. Listen, you can't do this. You got to stand on what God promised you. The enemy is trying to creep in. You know why the enemy is trying to creep in? Because you're getting so close. As you get closer to the door, the enemy is going to do whatever he can to bring you distractions. He'll bring people back from your past. That's the number one thing the enemy will do most of the time. He will bring people back from your past. But he'll wait until you get in a, very, a real vulnerable state. He'll wait until you're lonely. He'll wait until you have bad news. He'll wait when people drop you and forsake you to bring that devil back from your past. This is why when the enemy does this, see, this is a distraction. People from your past are a major distraction to your breakthrough. People from your past are a major, major distraction. And it's a major hindrance to what God wants to give you. And you're going to be tested. The enemy hears what you say. I'm done. I'm not going back. The enemy wants to make you out of a liar. So this is why it's good to be quiet and pray and ask God daily to keep you strong. And don't open yourself up to people who have hurt you over and over and over again. People who have hurt you religiously, family. 
Don't even think about giving people these opportunities. Don't do that. We know people can change. And you may be asking, well, how do I know if I'm supposed to do this regarding this person? Because you're going to pray and you're going to trust the leading of the Holy Spirit. Pray over everything you do before you do it. Pray over every word that you hear, family of God. Because the word that's, that may not be for you now, it may be for you tomorrow. So never reject a word from God. Never reject the word from the Lord, from the word of God. Never reject it because the word of God is good all by itself. The enemy is going to come real hard. But when that enemy comes hard, you go harder. He's going to go low. That means he's going to attack you in the areas that make you feel bad. And he's going to team up. He's going to gather a team against you to make you feel even worse. And you know who these people are going to be? It's going to be the people that were close to you. It's going to be the people that you thought were in your corner. It's always going to be these people that you thought were there for you. Because the enemy wants to destroy you, family. And he will do it emotionally. He will do it psychologically. He'll do it spiritually if you let him. This is why the spirit man has to stay strong. Whatever you do, make sure your spirit man is strong. Make sure. Make sure you're prayed up. Because the more you pray, the more powerful that you're going to become. The less you pray, the less powerful that you are going to become. And you read the word of God to gain strength. The word of God is the sustenance. It is the meat that you need. God tells us man should live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You're going to feed your spirit. You're going to eat the word of God, but it has to come out of your mouth because this is how you live by eating and speaking the word of God. I want you to eat the word of God. I want you to speak it for the rest of your life that you have here. I want you to know that no weapon formed against you, your household, your family is not going to prosper. It may look like the enemy is winning. It may look like he's prospering, but God is setting the enemy up for the worst failure of his life. God will set people up for the worst failure of their life. What, what do I mean when I say that? God already knows what the outcome is going to be. So God will sit on his beautiful throne in heaven and he will allow the enemy to do whatever they want to do. He will allow the enemy to laugh, to mock, to scoff, to plot, to scheme, to devise ploys against you. Set booby traps. God will allow these things because God knows not one of these things will affect his children. You got to know this. Not one weapon that the enemy is forming against you, it is never going to prosper. Never. I don't care what it is. You have to know it. It will not prosper. Say it, family. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me, God is going to condemn it. God is going to condemn the words that people have set out in the realm of the spirit to destroy you. I come against every word curse that people have spoken over your life. Every jinx, every hex, every spell in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over you. Then no evil shall befall your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. No sickness, no disease. We're believing for your healing, for your breakthrough. And remember the nation of Israel. Remember them in your prayer. Because God said he will bless those that bless them. And he will curse them. Who cursed the nation of Israel. Remember the nation of Israel for your prayer time. Look to the Middle East. I'm going to do a video if God's will. Because I'm led by the Spirit to do it. I want to do this video regarding the eclipse. After the eclipse. But God has not given me permission to do it yet. Because I don't want people of, of the Most High God to get caught up in things of the world without having the knowledge of what these things mean but if god doesn't have give me that release to do it i'm not going to be able to do it so just study the word of god and know what the times are the seasons that we're in we're in a season right now where you need to get a good relationship with god you have to make sure where you're going to spend eternity you got to know we can't play around and pat a cake with things such as our salvation. No more distractions. This is Prophet Nikki. Good to be here with you, family. Thank you for your support and everything that you guys do for us on this channel. Go over to our Instagram page, Nikki G. McCray. You're supporting us here. Keep supporting us here on our channel, but we ask you to give us your support as well to our Instagram page. Just go over there and follow us there because God is going to do some amazing things too. And I want you to be a part of it. 
I want you to be a part of what is growing. Stay hooked up to this channel because here on this channel, we're going to help you through the Word of God. We're going to help you through principles. On our channel, we talk about everything. We encourage that intimate and personal relationship with the Lord. We also, on the direction of the Lord, we are going to help you love who you are. We're going to help you stay inspired and motivated and encouraged. Encouraged to be the best person that God has called you to be. We're going to help you give birth to your dreams. We're going to show you what that looks like on this channel. Stay hooked up. We're going to help you forget your past and take the lessons from it. We're going to help you on this channel forgive. Even if you feel like a person doesn't deserve your forgiveness, it doesn't matter. You got to forgive. This is what we're all about on our channel because this is how you're going to grow. We got to have forgiveness. We got to move forward. We got to take the lessons and we got to move on. Because if you don't, the enemy is going to use all these things, all your hurt, all your traumatic experiences. He's going to use these things against you to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant, to keep you stay so you will not progress. Your life will continue to digress. But I thank God you're going to elevate, you're going to soar just like an eagle in the name of the Lord. When the enemy comes hard for you, when the enemy goes hard, you're supposed to go hard, a family of God. You're going to stand still and you're going to see the salvation of the Lord. We love you here. God bless you.